Right, we've got one hour, and I'm going to tell you right ahead of time that we're going to put the relationship with the horse first. This, they've got a horse that has been brought in uh, with a extreme trailer loading problem, had to be brought in. I, well, they're going to tell us the story, I, and I understand it's quite extreme. What I want to let you know is I have to keep on time. Whatever, if it takes more time, I will go out back or somewhere, and I'm here to help, help the horse, okay? So, we're going to do whatever it takes. So, for right now, I'm here to, for two reasons. My job is inspiration and education. Your job, if you so choose to become a horseman, is dedication and perspiration. So, let's get it on. Come on in, Cheryl. That a girl. This is Cheryl. Can you turn her microphone on for her, please? Hi, Cheryl. Hey, got a microphone for her, please? There, hang on a second. Atta girl. And we've got Cheryl here. And got a mic? Can you say anything here? Say hello, hello. Got a mic? They're trying to do something up there. Hey, no, there. Testing, testing, see? Testing, testing. Oh, right this is Cheryl and her miniature horse. <laughs> Uh, and we said the horse, horse's name is Topper. Topper. And yes. what kind of horse? He's a saddlebred Dutch warm blood mix. A saddlebred Dutch warm blood mix. Okay. So if you're not Dutch, you're not much, right? That's right. Okay. And what? Uh, how old? He will be eight in April. Eight in April. And what do you do with him? My trainer jumps him, and I take him on trail. Your trainer jumps him, and you take him on trail. I'm okay? too chicken to jump. Okay. And how long have you had him? Uh, we've had him two years now. Two, two years now. Years Okay, and tell us, evidently you got a trailer loading situation here. We have a bad trailer loading. Tell us about it, because I the, don't know anything about it. <laughs> the first time we went to go pick him up, it uh -huh. took us three hours to get him in the trailer. We finally got him in, and I'm going to stand on this side of the barrel. Right? That's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> get a barrel in there. Right. Um, after the three hours, we got him in, and he reared up once he was inside, knocked himself unconscious. Okay. Um, so we... we can, so we after, a, can we get a taller trailer, please? Can we get a taller trailer? <laughs> okay. um, or one of those crash helmets. Um, and then uh, after that, we started sedating him. And that works pretty good unless he has to perform the same day. And okay. we have an issue. Um, and then one day we had a same-day show. So we got him in the trailer. He bumped his head a little bit on the way in, uh -huh. performed all day, did really great, took home ribbons, and then when it was time to load up, he refused. Uh -huh. And uh, had every trainer on the ground try to get him in. Uh, I think we were there a couple hours and ended up having to leave him overnight, sedate him in the morning, and bring him back home. Don't so you hate it when that happens? I, my check, my husband really hates it. My checkbook hates it. Is your husband here? He is. Where's the husband at? Where's the husband at? Right there. All right, there we go. What's the husband's name? Hal. Hey, Hal. You want to get, you're, you're tired of this, right? Damn tired of this stuff. All right. Okay, so here's what this session's about. It's not about the trailer. Trust right. me, it's not about the trailer. Okay. What we're going to do is dig in here as quick as we can, and we're going to find out what it is about. Okay. First of all, what I want to do is, is make sure you understand something very simple. Mm -hmm. It's about four things. Rapport, respect, impulsion, and flexion. Okay. All right? Mm -hmm. The horse looks like he likes you. Would he you agree? Yes, he yeah, does. He likes you. He takes care of you. Yeah, you got that carrot flavored uh, cologne. You got, that, <laughs> I know. You, kinda got, you got that going on. I mean, yeah. he's all over you like a cheap suit. Yes. But I wouldn't say he respects you. He doesn't seem like he respects your space. He's walking all no, over you, barging. Okay? So the respect that he, and respect is, a, is an interesting thing. It's it's, he's got to respect you, he's got to respect himself, okay? And he's got to respect his environment. Right. So here, let me give you my definition of respect, because a lot of people get this respect. You know, there is no fear in respect. There is no uh, hate in respect. My definition of respect is appropriate response to pressure. And what happens is that horses being prey animals, they, what we think is an appropriate, let him stand, let him stand, let him stand, let him stand. 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 What we think would be an appropriate thing to pressure, all right? Let him stand. Let him stand. Stay still. Stay still. Stay still. Stay still. You need to stand too. 
what we think is an appropriate response to pressure. Horses, who's ever seen a horse just go nuts? You know, he's standing there tied up and a caterpillar, you know, rushes by. <laughs> And all of a sudden, he just boom, backwards and pulls back. And he, like, what if you saw somebody just standing there, and all of a sudden they just boom, did something like that? You know, you've seen horses; they see a little, you know, a piece of plastic. A mailbox is open today. You know, all right. So this is what we would, you know, like if you saw a bicycler going by a mailbox and boom, oh my God! You know, you think, what the hell is the matter with that guy? Right? So. The way horses think and the way people think are two, two opposite things. This is where one of my most popular audio tapes is uh, of all time was horses, humans are from Mars, horses are from Venus. All right, so we're going to try to get a little something going here. So let's try a little something here. I'm going to give you a little bit of music. And I want you to do is I want you to try to walk him across that green tarp, okay? Then I want, and you just get like 30 seconds per try. Don't, don't okay. cut it. All right? Then I want you to uh, get him to go in a figure eight around those cones okay. there. And then I want you to put uh, the ball on his, no, put that, um, walk over those two barrels, put the ball on his back, and then put him in the trailer. Okay? Okay. You get one song. On your marks, get set, go. Mag magically send me some music. Okay? Okay, walk him across the tarp. No, not you, him. Come on! understanding and the respect. Okay, so what I'm going to do is move him over, and let's give Cheryl a big thank you for bringing her horse. 